Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum. In the last part, we saved Egan from Scrub, and we caught our final party member, Hitmontop. Now, off screen, I gave everybody nicknames, so I'll be showing them off right now. Uh, I have named Dunsparce Sidewinder, um, because I. I don't remember where I saw this, but I remember seeing a Dunsparce named Sidewinder at some point, and I liked the name, and it was the only one I could think of, so I'm sorry to whoever originally had that name, but I definitely stole it. Sorry about that. Uh, next we have Solaris the Espeon. Yes, I did name it after a character from Sonic 06. Don't judge me. Except I actually really like that game. Don't judge me now, either. <laughs> um... But yeah, I named it that because it's solar, and Espeon is supposed to have something to do with the sun, and Umbreon is supposed to have something to do with the moon. But yeah, it was it was the best thing I could come up with, so yeah. Next we have Zoidberg the Remoraid. Um, I named it that because I've always thought that Zoidberg from Futurama looked like a cross between Crawdont and Remoraid's Evolution, Octillery. So, yeah, that's why I called it that, and I just like the name. Uh, Slugma, I have named Garyetta. I was originally just going to name it Gary, after Gary from Spongebob, but it is female, so I have named it probably the stupidest female version of Gary that I could think of. So, yeah, that's why I did that. And finally, Umbreon, I have named Oki, after the character from Okami. And I'm calling it that because... I don't know, it just looks... Oki's wolf form is the, clo is the closest thing I could think of to resembling Umbreon, I guess. I don't know, don't judge my terrible naming skills. And... Hitmontop, I have not given a name to yet, because you cannot nickname Shadow Pokemon until you have purified them. But anyways, now that I've finished talking about that, we are going to head off to Mount Battle to help them out. Vroom. So yeah, that sure is a mountain. Several mountains, actually. So yeah, let's go inside this place, which is definitely not part of a mountain. Um, eh, you guys look pretty safe. I'll, get just, I'll just leave now. Okay, not really. Go over here. I'm more dangerous than they are. I have a flying motorcycle. Of course I'm gonna get here quickly. The power of my Pokemon aren't normal either. Some of them are inferior, but never mind that. Anyways, um, this area is basically just me fighting a whole bunch of trainers in quick succession. So, I'm most likely just going to be speeding everything up. At least until a certain point. So, yeah, I'm just going to be speeding things up here. All training has been put on hold. That, that might explain why all these trainers are so crappy. Alright, let's go!
Okay! After nearly an hour of battling, we are finally here. At the, nearly the end. So, yeah, you see that guy wearing white over there? We're gonna be fighting him next time. But before I close off the video, I just want to say one thing. Before I started recording this, I had a prediction. I predicted how many times Hitmontop was going to go into hyper mode during this challenge. I predicted 12 times. He went into hyper mode 17 times. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't even have words. Yeah. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this incredibly boring sped up battles part. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum, we're gonna go take down that guy over there. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.